In this video, we provide the solution to question number seven for practice exam number three for math 1060. We need to find all solutions to the equation two cosine of theta equals one. So if we solve for the trigonometric function, we're gonna cosine theta is equal to one half. So we have to think about in the unit circle, because we don't have a calculator here, we can't just compute arc cosine. We have to think about in the unit circle, when is cosine equal to one half? Um, cosine's gonna equal to one half. This will happen in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant, if we think of our picture right here, right? Here's the unit circle, one half, x equals one half would be something like that, first quadrant and the second quadrant. So in the first quadrant, this happens, thinking of, of radian measure, right? This happens at pi thirds, right? But this will also happen for any multiple that, of two pi we add to that, so we get two pi k. Uh, so we can already eliminate some of the answers based upon that already. But in the fourth quadrant, we have to remember that one, the angle that references two pi thirds in the fourth quadrant will be two pi take away pi thirds. So that's gonna be five pi thirds. But then you have to add any multiple of two pi to that as well, because the answers do repeat themselves with a two pi period. So looking for looking for pi thirds and five pi thirds plus two pi k, which all of them have that, we see the correct answer would be choice F.